I'm Stephanie Shelton from Carr School. Charlene Yon, Alpha School. Nicole Purvis, Blountstone High School. And we're here just to talk a little bit about things um, winding up the school year, the summer, and moving into next school year. First, we'll start with testing, which we are already in the throes of. The month of May is full of testing. Please make sure your children are at school on time every day. Arriving late means the student will not be able to enter the testing room and will have to sit in the office until testing is complete. If a student misses a day and has to make up a test, it can make the student feel anxious and therefore cause them to not perform as well as they might have if they tested in their regular classroom with their regular teacher. Makeups can put students in an unfamiliar room and possibly with an unfamiliar teacher administering the test. Students tend to perform much better when they are testing in the classroom they are in daily and with their teacher administering the test. When students have to make up a test, then they are missing important review that may be going on in their classroom in preparation for another test. Try to schedule appointments in the afternoon or if there is an appointment that's scheduled on a day that your child will be testing, please let us know because we do not want them to start the test and then need to leave in the middle of the test. They could just make it up. As testing winds down, um, there are also other events still occurring at schools that it is important that your child be at school in attendance for. Um, there are things after testing as far as awards day, fun days, there still may be some field trips planned. Lots of things are still happening, and so it is very important that your child still be in attendance until the very last day of school on May 26th. Summer school will actually start on June the 5th for any student who would need to attend credit recovery to make up credits to promote to the next grade. I know that there's a lot of other camps that will be going on. There will be third grade reading camp for third graders in our district that need a concordance score to promote to fourth grade. There will be STEM camp for fourth through eighth graders. And there will also be kindergarten acceleration camp for our upcoming kindergartners. And these primarily just run in the month of June. Also, as the school year winds down, looking at scheduling um, for sixth through 12th grade, I guess for the next school year, of course requests have been sent out and so it is very important that your student contact the guidance counselor at their school in order to get the classes that they wish to have for next school year and make sure that they get those that way they have a schedule when school starts back in August. Be on the lookout as we start school next year that there will be parent nights, open house nights at each school. Their child would be able to visit the classrooms before yes. school starts. Um, middle school, high school would actually get their schedule to be able to know what their schedule is and be able to run through their schedule so they make sure they know where all their classes are. Many uh, important notices throughout the summer will be put out either on each school's Facebook page um, or you may get several notices through Parent Square as well for any important dates and um, other things that may be going on during the summer or in pre preparation for the beginning of the school year. So be looking out for those things. For any kindergarten or preschool age student that has not yet enrolled for the 2023-2024 school year can still do that. Please go to the school where your child will attend as soon as possible to get them enrolled. As we enter the weeks of testing for the next three weeks of May, we want these students to come and show up and show out at school as far as showing us what they've, they've learned all year. They've practiced every single day in the classroom and now it's time to show what they've learned and how successful they can be um, at mastering these tests. The results of the testing they will take in the next couple of weeks will be used for various things such as courses for next year or giving the next teacher some information about the child's strengths and weaknesses. We look forward to seeing our students on campus every day and we're excited to see how well they do on all of their end of the year testing. As always, we are here to help you and your child to have the best education possible. Thank you for watching these attendance videos and we want to help you in any way that we can. 